Are you joking? He's on their property, I don't care, but damn. Probably just gonna give another 15 or 20 minutes. I don't expect to see anything after that neighbor one in there. Never know, I suppose. I was getting ready to back up. But in the last five minutes, I probably heard 10 or 12 shots. I don't know what the deal is. So I'm probably gonna give it another 20 minutes or so. I just heard a dope bleed. I'm watching the neighbor too, he's standing up. I don't know what he's doing. Just shot a giant bug. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And I think I almost left. What? I thought I heard a doe bleat. Next thing I know, I see this giant buck sneaking through the woods. I know the neighbor over here probably hit his pants on that shot. It looked like the buck ran towards him. I'm nervous. He definitely looked like he was hit. I don't know where. Is this recording? Oh my god. 
like I'm uncontrollable right now. Like shivering and shaking. And just like that, my Ohio season might be done. Here's the deal. I shot that buck. I've since heard a few other shots, like two properties over, which I'm really nervous. Alright, there's five shots in a row. I really hope he didn't make it over there. I mean, he's big. I watched back the footage and it's pretty far away and not zoomed in, but I definitely hit him. I mean, if he made it on the neighbors and got shot again, I'm never gonna see that buck again. I think it was one of the ones I was after all year. Neighbors still set up back here, he hasn't moved. I feel like that buck would have had to run right near him. There's another shot. I feel like that buck kind of took off towards him, but hopefully I'm wrong. I'm gonna pack up here, go check blood, and uh, go from there. I mean, I don't want to rush it. I definitely want to give him a while. I'm kind of anxious. I'm freaking out right now. That was a big bug. Like I'm still, like I'm not. I can't stop. I'm freaking out, man. Oh. Open and date rifle season, baby. I'm not much of a gun hunter. I almost just brought the bow. I would not have been able to shoot him with a bow. Oh. Please let me, please let me recover this deer. Please let me recover this deer. I'm all packed up. About to climb down, walk down to the end of the shooting lane and check for blood and I am nervous as heck. I'm super nervous. But here we go. Boy, do I have something to show you. It took me forever to find blood, and it turns out he just wasn't standing where I thought. The neighbor was like right on the corner here. So when I walked up here looking for blood, I went over and talked to him. He said, hey, he's laying right in here. I heard him go down, I saw him go down. And uh, he's laying right over here. And He's not small, I guess I'll just say. Let's see if I can find him. Let's go, dude. Look at this thing. Are you joking? Look at that, perfect shot. Perfect shot. Are you kidding me? I had to contain my freak out a little bit. Oh my God. Look at that. I'm getting rained on. I gotta put this camera away, but I could not be more stoked, baby. Let's go. Man, oh man, what a special deer. I've been waiting a long time to knock down something of this caliber. Ohio, baby. I almost didn't go out this morning. Last night, I was trying to talk myself out of it. That little voice in the back of your head saying, ah, don't set your alarm for quarter to five. It's not gonna be worth it. Even this morning, drank my coffee. Just wasn't feeling it. I was like, man, just sleep in. You'll get him in the afternoon. And then, even when I was on the stand, some things happened. I was like, yeah, this is a waste of time. I'm just gonna get out of here. I stuck around until 9.40 and got a shot at this brute. I mean, finally one of those bucks that, no matter how you spin him, he's just a good buck. God is good, man. I've never worked so hard in my entire life as I have this season. Two tags punched. This one alone is worth it right there. 
cannot be more grateful.